Okay, so put the uh, the function. Remember, we were doing our tricky stuff. Either that. You forgot about that, didn't you? <laughs> Did you? That's how I do it. That's always how I do it. It's less buttons. It's good. It looks kind of goofy, but see, that's but that's high level understanding to to do that, you guys. Eh? Not everyone can do that. I am gonna go zoom. Decimal. I know I could push the number four to make it faster, but for the viewers at home, I'd like them to see that I'm going down to number four. <laughs> Zoom decimal is good. I'm not sure if we could see everything. Probably can. Remember that you can you can find this graphically by using the um, maximum or minimum feature here. You can trace it to get a rough idea, or you can do this. It isn't that you have to do one or the other. You want the left bound on the x-axis somewhere. So go to the left somewhere and go to the right of that point somewhere so you're sh for sure you're on the right side of it. As long as there's only one maximum in that interval, it doesn't matter where you guess. The reason it wants to guess is if you pick an interval where there's two maximums, it'll find the one closer to your guess. So if you know, it doesn't matter where you guess. If you hit enter, it comes up with that as the maximum. Now we can we can find that when we do the algebra to confirm that that works, right? That that's right. So maybe I will do this just so we don't lose this. Yeah, if you're that's the that's one of them here. That's the We'll pause this one. Yeah, when you say what is the minimum? The minimum is the value of the function, right? The, the high or low value here. So you say this has a minimum of approximately approximately 1.549 or something like that at x equals approximately negative 1.631. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Just use your lasso tool to switch them. And it has a maximum of, I'll let you write it out since you're doing better at it anyways. Confirming it analytically. I'm sure you can do this. F prime of X equals X to the third minus 2X squared minus X plus 1. I was telling my six-year-old the other day that the fifth time she tells it's the same joke, it's not funny anymore, right? We realize. We knew that. Uh, if you, as far as this course goes, I don't care how you get the answers to this. If you use a quadratic formula. Have a have a program on your calculator. If I give you a question on a non-calculator part of an exam, I will make it so it factors most likely. I'm not going to, you know, make it so that we're worried about or, you know, the tedious of uh, plugging in the numbers. Use the quadratic formula program now. Since this is a virtual calculator, I can't add programs to it. So there are no programs in here. You should get any one of a number of quadratic formula programs. Um, or you can you can make your own. It's not that hard to make. Um, well, it's, quadratic formula is actually a simple program because it's just calculating a value, right? 